DK Shiv Kumar actually swings a second state. Uh, do you think uh, more headaches coming up for the central leadership? He's not going to be satisfied as a deputy chief minister. So yeah. before before they begin to make a chief minister in Telangana, yeah. they'll probably have to look at the chief minister of Karnataka as well. Absolutely. The 30-30 deal, the subtle 30-30 deal, he will certainly reinforce. He will re-emphasize that. Uh, the second thing, let's not forget. I mean, these are rumors, uh, and I don't want to invite too much of controversy. But it Why was, not? <laughs> it was even alleged that Mr. Kharge himself wanted to be chief minister. So even he might be waiting for an opportunity where there are two quarreling monkeys and he's the cat. You know. <laughs> no, and the interesting so, thing is like that if, 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 and if, before, before we move on to the issue of brand Modi, because I yeah. think that is going to be the biggest elephant in the room after yeah. these elections, it also could be, if they manage to swing Telangana, the third win on a trot under the presidentship of Mr. Kharge. Since he became president, Absolutely. it's been Himachal Pradesh, they've got Karnataka, which is his home state, and if they get Telangana, again, where he's campaigned extensively, yeah. that's going to be another feather in his hat, plus he's a Dalit. A lot of people saying, what if he's the trump card for the Congress as no, the no, face? This is what but the Congress party is likely to do. Hmm. If this win happens, it's going to try and build the persona of Mr. Kharge. So, the talk oh, of yeah? having him contest from two Lok Sabha seats, you know, sort of giving him a pan-national stature to garner Dalit votes across uh, India. I think they're going to, to stop that. short. They might not declare him a prime ministerial candidate, but they're going to stop short of that yeah. and try and leverage his persona completely, for which they will build up his persona. It's He's interesting you say that, sorry, because in Telangana, there was a speech that Mr. Kharge was giving, yeah. and there were some rowdy workers. The BJP actually cottoned on to that and they tweeted that video. We'll just yes. play it out in a bit and said, oh, look, you know, nobody cares about Mr. Kharge. Even his own workers don't listen to him. He's been reduced to furniture in the party. But when we spoke about the four main messages, the thing about Mr. Modi and whether he can be the face alone, just a little bit of data from 2018 and 2019, 65 seats across three states of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan, Lok Sabha seats, BJP got 62 of them in 2019, even though in terms of the assembly, they had got 180, sorry, uh, in fact, the assembly seats, Congress had got 282 of the 520 assembly seats in 2018. Mm -hmm. And yet 62, ultimately on the back of brand Modi, they won. So, Sabha, do you think politics from here on narratives, is that the war we are looking at? Because these five states, they, of course, are a big... Uh, you know, decision as far as which way federal India is going. How much will this <clears throat> impact 2024? Won't that be a crucial factor that everybody will be looking at? So, unless the Congress sweeps everything, and let's say they don't lose Rajasthan, let's say they have a clear victory in uh, Madhya Pradesh, and in Chhattisgarh, I think the margin of victory is coming down. Let's say they sweep Telangana, then we can say, okay, something big is happening for the national election. I'm sorry, but no, no, otherwise, right. otherwise, I'm afraid, because even when you travel there, in the Hindi belt in particular, not in Telangana, in Telangana, I don't, I think that there is a very, first of all, the BJP, even in states which it might lose, it's structurally a very healthy party. Sangathan works in spite of what is happening at the top. One has to, RSS, cadres are working there. Secondly, uh, I found, and I found this in Rajasthan, uh, in particular, where I uh, is that uh, people like Modi for the national, uh, even in for this, those who are voting for Gehlot, many of them are voting for Modi for the national election. So the Congress has to uh, win these states. I could be wrong because you know journalists travel in a small segment of a state. So unless the Congress wins it by huge margins, or it doesn't lose Rajasthan, and it doesn't, it wins Madhya Pradesh comfortably. It's still in the Hindi belt. It has a huge challenge. Plus, let's mention a state which we are not talking about, which is Uttar Pradesh. Any starting block, you're starting off with 70 seats with the BJP is starting off with. Hmm. Right now, we don't see any challenge to the Bharatiya Janata Party in UP. So, we have to have a complete rejig of the political thing if you want to. So, real you're content. saying it's early to say that there yeah. is a change of uh, complete politics of the country or the narrative yes. of the country. Unless the Congress sweeps everything comfortably and they win Telangana. And Telangana victory would be very important. I'll tell you why. Because there are some cities which have resources. Bangalore was one of them. Mm. Hyderabad is huge. 
political resources. You're saying no. I mean, you, I mean, <laughs> I mean nobody, nobody is, uh, nobody is confused about what resources we are talking no, I'm, about. I'm seen Punawala. Financial resources. ATM. Yes. It is the ATM, and that's the talk. That one is Karnataka. If the Congress were to win Telangana as well, it's got two functioning ATMs, and if Madhya yeah. Pradesh was to go to them, well, 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 then the banking enough. sector is really expanding for the Congress Absolutely. party. That's that's the normal conversation that people are having. But before we move to what are the challenges for the Congress, I want to get commitments from each one of you on that table on what do you think is going to happen. So, Jem Rook, stick your neck out and tell us what's happening in Rajasthan. BJP? Uh, Madhya Pradesh. Neck and neck? No. Ultimately, who will make? Somebody's got to make a government there. Ne uh, Who's going to be in the neck closer to the finishing line? Okay, Congress by five seats. Congress by five seats.